Well, it's been a busy holiday season, but that does not mean that I didn't have time to make it to the theater to see the new Hollywood releases. It may be Monday, but hopefully you have a couple of days before you have to head back to work. Plenty of time to catch a movie. But with the new choices that came out last week, I'm going to go ahead and try and give you a little help by giving you my take on Les Miserables. The movie begins in 19th century France with a prisoner serving the last day of his 19-year prison sentence. Jean Valjean, played by Hugh Jackman, sets off into the world and through an act of kindness, he decides to start a whole new life with a new persona. In doing so, he breaks parole and starts a decades-long pursuit by the merciless inspector Javert, portrayed by Russell Crowe. From this point, several different plot lines diverge and reconverge, ranging from a factory worker cast out and forced to live the ill-fated life of a prostitute, to a promise made to care for an orphan child, to a blossoming love story for two that seem destined to be a part, to a bloody lower-class rebellion at the barricade. And all the while, Javert's ruthless hunt for Valjean continues. Normally, when movie musicals are filmed, all of the songs are previously recorded on a soundstage, and the actors then lip-sync while acting out the scenes. In this film, though, all the actors actually sang while acting out the scenes, and you can really tell. The raw emotion portrayed by Jackman and Crow cannot be recreated through lip syncing. Along with an incredible supporting cast of Anne Hathaway, Amanda Seyfried, and Eddie Redmayne, you can truly feel what the characters feel. There are also great comic relief appearances by Helena Bonham Carter and Sasha Baron Cohen that allow for some heartfelt laughs as well. All right, I do have to let everyone know right off, there is very little spoken dialogue in this movie. It is mainly songs. That being said, I still was surprised and found the movie very enjoyable. Guys, even if you can't stand the thought of seeing this movie, you should definitely check it out. There's enough fight scenes and gore that you'll probably actually enjoy it. Plus, I guarantee there's a song or two you'll end up tapping your feet to. Take your significant other and they will love you for it. And really, doesn't that just make all of us a little less miserable? This has been your Monday Movie Musings. Back to you.